Hi everybody, it's Pitta the Potter again. We're uh, going to work in the glaze area here real quick and I'm going to show you a few tips that might help you out in glazing. Uh, many years ago when I started, the, uh, the method of uh, mixing glaze was a stick. I'm going to step over here real quick and grab this stick that we used to use a hundred years ago. You can hear me. Uh, here, here's a, a glaze mixer. We would stick it in the bucket and go round and round and round like that. And uh, we never really glazed uh, or mixed the glaze that, that great. Uh, today, at Pitta the Potter, we use a high-speed mixer. This uh, mixer will go uh, 1,350 RPMs a minute. And attached to this is a paint mixer that's a sort of a, to a roller that would go behind your toilet. And what I do is I buy them with a green handle on them to, to roll paint behind a toilet. They have a little head and a very small roller. I take the roller off and I cut the handle off and these are made out of stainless steel and these things go very, very, very quickly. So what I've done here is I've set up over here my bucket of glaze, which I'm going to take over here to show you. Let's take a real quick look at it. Turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, here's my copper red glaze. It's white by nature. It's not been stirred up yet. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of the, the stirring techniques of this stir. Okay, now what we have is a completely mixed glaze. Now, a lot of people say, how do I apply a glaze and what do I do with it? Well, right here we have on the table a mystic device which is available almost everywhere. And this is called a hydrometer. This is a, uh, a device made by a glass blower in a laboratory and it has scales on it. And what this does is when it's in water by itself, it shows zero gravity. It'll go all the way up to zero. And as you add your material to glaze, it'll start coming up in the bucket. And what we want to do is have 50% material to 50% water in the glaze. And this is what I call a good starting place. On the other side of the scale is, a, is like centimeter scale. It's a little different specific gravity. But if you learn to use this scale and just go around on the other side and use that scale, they're both basically graduated the same. I use the, uh, I use the, the water 100, 100, 100 point to water to materials. So when I get my glaze at 50-50, what I do then is I know that this is a good starting spot. And believe it or not, when I hold the pot into the glaze, I usually hold it in for around seven seconds. I know this is an alarming thing to most people because they think that if it's in and out, in and out, and it's done. But let me explain something to you. When you mic your glazes up with a hydrometer and you have your bisque ware fired to the same basic 04, 06, whatever you use to bisque, and when you dip it, the glaze will go into the pot because the pot is absorbent and the water goes into the pot and the glaze stays on the outside of the pot. And what basically happens is you created the first dip. And what I do usually is I usually turn the pot, let it dry for a short time. And then what I do is I'll come back and do it again. What has happened here? Oh, I'm still recording. But why does it say movie? I have no idea. Uh-oh. Uh -oh.